Alright, so we finally made it to the video section of these tutorials, and it might be a little bit annoying at first to do these next couple steps, but trust me, they're totally worth it. This is what's going to make everything work the way it should, like this, in your editing program, nice and smooth and easy to deal with. The first thing you want is to get your footage onto your computer. <laughs> so if you've got, let's say, DVD footage, you'll want to follow my video tutorial on how to get VOB and D2V files. If you're using Blu-ray footage, watch a tutorial on how to get M2TS or MKV files. And if you're using other footage, that just, well, there's no tutorial on that, it just means that your footage is already on your computer and you probably have one of these files, MKV, AVI, or MP4, or maybe even something else. Hopefully not something else. So once it's on your computer, you essentially deal with it all the same way. I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial, but first, we need to use some software. And this is where all that AMV app stuff comes in. So go to where you downloaded the AMV app. And the three programs we want right now are um, AVI Synth, uh, the AVI Synth Plugin Pack, and AVSP Mod. Okay? If you're curious what these are and what they do, real quick, <laughs> ABI Synth, this is gonna sound crazy, ABI Synth is a computer programming language that is going to manipulate our footage for us. Okay, <laughs> what this means in English is we're gonna type commands and it's gonna manipulate our footage. It's exactly as cool and hacker friendly as it sounds. My phone is ringing. Okay, so that was ABI Synth, sorry about that. Next is the ABI Synth Plugins Pack. These are the filters that ABI Synth is going to use to manipulate our footage. Okay, so if we don't have these, like let's say your footage is really blocky, has a lot of macro blocks in it, you can use a deblocking filter to help remove that blocking in your footage. Okay, so you need the plugins, the filters for that. And ABSP Mod, um, this, uh, this is just the, the GUI, the Graphical User Interface. What this means is it just provides us with the buttons and windows and sliders in which to input what we want. Um, don't be afraid. It's, it's just like Windows, okay? Windows is a graphical user interface. There's graphics, there's buttons, there's sliders, there's a place where you can type in things. It's a graphical user interface, and that's all what ABSP Mod is as well. Okay, so let's start off by installing ABI Synth. Right-click it, run as administrator if you can. If you can't, just double-click it. Um, English, sure, agree, um, don't need any extras. Install it. Okay, it might install to a different directory depending on your operating system. Like ours, or mine, sorry, is uh, going to be in the program files x86 folder because I have a 64-bit operating system and AVI Synth is 32-bit, so it needs to go in the x86 folder. But don't worry about that. Next, finish. Okay, if you guys sent this installed, simple. Um, if this pops up, you'll want to reinstall using recommended settings. Sometimes it doesn't install correctly. So go, okay, agree, redo the same thing over again. And hopefully it'll install it correctly this time. Go next, finish. Um, install your AVI Synth plugins pack. Run as administrator. Next, next, next. Install, finish. PSP mod, run as administrator. Next, next, next. Create a desktop icon, please do so. Next, install. And uh, we don't want to launch it now. Just go finish. Okay, so we're done with those programs. And uh, the next step is going to be creating ABI synth scripts so that we can manipulate our footage. Okay, and that's all it for this tutorial. Well, 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 Mr. Bunny, you just keep going, going, going. <laughs> You are the angriest man in the world. If I remember right, he used to like it like that. Ah! <clears throat>